All right, we're back at it again, trying viral video production hacks. Today, we're gonna to be scoping out these three hacks from Instagram and TikTok. Are they too good to be true? Is the internet lying to us again? I'm gonna try these hacks in real life and let you know if there's some trickery going on. Spoiler alert, there definitely is. This first hack is from creator YK on TikTok. You point your iPhone camera at your hand and you wanna adjust the exposure and brightness for your own hand. Then raise your hand up toward the sky. You're gonna to pretend to grab the sun with your hand and then tap the iPhone screen in the sky with the other hand so that the iPhone auto adjusts the exposure to the sky and it reveals this amazing dramatic sky. Let's try it. The first thing I figured out is that it's really hard if you have small hands like I do to hold your phone with one hand and adjust the focus. So I got a little ingenious and used my hair tie to attach the phone to my hand so I didn't drop it. It took several times to get that effect, but I think I finally got a take that's okay. However, even my best take didn't have quite the effect of that original TikTok video, and I figured out why. Even though this creator is using an iPhone, the exposure change seems to happen so much faster than mine. I'm pretty sure he sped up that very specific portion of the clip and post to get that very dramatic reveal. So let me try to do that myself here. And there you go, that definitely seems to be the workaround. So it's not quite as easy as this TikToker wants you to think it is, but it does work. All right, before we move on to our next hack, if you like this video, if you think this is really fun, let me know, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. All right, this next hack is from Instagram from the creator Laza Camara. This is actually a photography trick, but what's the difference between photography and videography? Basically you take a Ziploc bag and you color over it with a marker and wrap that around your lens and you get these really great gradations around your shots. These gradients are something I use all the time in post-production. So this one definitely caught my eye because I am a fan of gradients. So let's give it a try. The first step was to head over to Michael's to the markers department. There were so many markers and I was concerned about finding the right type of marker that would stick to plastic like a Ziploc bag. And I ended up grabbing these guys here. Next up, I grabbed a Ziploc bag and colored in what I thought would be the right spot on this bag. I was really trying to avoid the seam at the bottom of the bag. I went with the classic orange and teal combo for this. Then we headed out into the wild. I put on my smallest lens so that the Ziploc bag would fit comfortably. But once I put it on the camera, I realized that my two colors were way too far apart and I had to keep coloring in more and more and trying and trying and trying to see if this would actually work and then that hair tie really came in handy again. That's how I attached it to my lens. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, here are the shots. How terrible do they look? They look like they're super out of focus, but they're not. It's that Ziploc bag does not belong over the front of your lens. You cannot tell me that that creator achieved these photographs with this technique. It is physically impossible. Lenses are very expensive because they're super precise, they're very refined, they're expensive to make, and you cannot expect the same clarity out of a Ziploc bag as you can with the lens that goes on your camera. So I say that this hack is a complete lie. Don't even try it. If you wanted to get this gradated look, it's very easy to achieve in almost any decent photo or video editing app. So I say pass on this hack. The other thing I don't like about it is if you change your mind about the colors or you wanna change the placement of the gradients, you can't because it's baked into your photo or video. Just do it all in post. You don't need this. All right, let's move on to our third hack. This is from the creator Arianteo, I think I'm saying that right, where you tape a piece of green paper over your phone. Then you take a photo of that phone over, let's say an overpass like this one and then you actually take a video of the background and then you composite the two together so it looks like the cars are driving into your phone 
this is a pretty cool idea and I couldn't wait to try it, but I did notice a couple challenges with this video. You'll notice the divided highway that this creator is standing over holding his phone is actually pretty narrow. Um, there's not too many lanes and it's not continuous from one direction to another. Where I live, the highways are super wide. So we headed over to a waterway to see if we had better luck with boats instead of cars. It took two of us to make sure that we got the alignment of the photo just right. And then we had to wait for some boats to come by. And in my case, the boats were going away from the phone. So once we captured all of our media, instead of bringing it into that app called CapCut, I actually brought it into Final Cut Pro and tried to do a little bit of extra movie magic on this. I added sort of a reflection to that phone. So it looks like I'm dumping the boats into the water from my phone. I love this effect. I think it's really cool. I don't know how I would use it like with one of my commercial clients. I don't know who needs this, but I had fun doing it. I think it's super creative and it definitely works. This hack definitely gets a thumbs up for me, which is pretty rare. So congratulations to you. You guys, what did you think of these hacks? Are there any more that you see on Instagram, TikTok, or anywhere else that you think I should try? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Picked out some other videos I know you're gonna like, and I'll see you again.